Hi, I'm Wendy Vecchi. I'm at scrapbook.com and I'm really excited to show you my make art station. Come here and take a look. So how did this come to be? And it's kind of an interesting story. I use stencils a lot. And when you try to work on the craft sheet, the craft sheet's very slippery, the stencils are slippery, and everything was sliding around and it's very annoying. So I got to thinking like, what would solve this problem? And so I went to Ranger about a year ago with this idea for the Make Art Station. So when I explained it to them, I called it a stencil station because that was really gonna be the main purpose. And once I got it, things changed, and I'll get to that in a little bit. So what is the Make Art Station? It's a 12 by 12 um, heavy metal base. It's got nice rounded corners. It's got hanging holes if you have a pegboard system in your studio. Um, it has a grid on the front so that we can line things up very easily. The back is completely finished, so that's very nice too. It's lightweight, but yet it's very strong. So you can see there's no bending or any buckling in there. So that was the base that I asked for. And then we got to the magnets, and I was really, really picky about the magnets because um, I didn't want any problems with them. So what we ended up with are the perfect magnets. They're, they're probably about a quarter of an inch thick. They have a foam base on them so they don't scratch your grid. They are brushed aluminum, so they're super strong, they won't break, and they will not pinch your fingers, and that is key for me. So magnets stick together, that's what they're supposed to do, but they separate very, very easily. So for me, these are absolutely perfect. The other thing I asked for was a centering ruler, and this is really nice too. So this is actually a magnet. It's a centering ruler. We have um, eighth inches along the top, and then we have imperial on the bottom so that this is good worldwide. Actually, if somebody said, what improvements would you want? There's none. It's absolutely exactly what I asked for. And once you get it, it's so stinking useful. It's cute. It's just absolutely, I can't live without it now. So let me show you a few things that you can do with it. So let's go to the stencil, which I originally wanted this for. So all I have to do is line up my cardstock, line up my um, stencil, put the magnets wherever they're going to be out of my way and they're very easy to move so don't worry about that. I'll take my blendable ink and now I can stencil through here and my stencil does not shift or move at all. It's super 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 handy. So I don't like to put tape on the front of my projects. That's just my personal thing. On the back doesn't bother me. On the front I don't like it. So you can see my stencil stayed perfectly in place because of the um, Make Art Station. So once I got this thing it was like we have to change the name of it now because it does a whole lot more than just hold stencils. It's really like an extra pair of hands. So if I take the same cardstock and if I put my magnetic ruler here right on the grid line so I know that that's straight. If I put my cardstock on here, I know that's straight. And then if I wanted to uh, maybe add a sentiment or a sentiment strip or like a stenciled or pattern paper, I can take this, put my perfect card adhesive on here, butt it right up against the ruler and I know it's going to be perfectly straight. So the other thing that's really handy too, if I want to stamp on this strip here, I can tell you what, if it's on my craft sheet, I'm going to bump it and it's going to be very hard to stamp on without me wiggling it. So all I have to do is put my strip on here, line it up with the grid so I know it's straight, put my magnet off to the side. So I'm just going to grab one of my stamps here that says hello and my Jet Black Archival ink. I'll put my um, strip that I want to stamp on right there. And now the magnet's going to hold it in place and I don't have to worry about knocking it out of, out of whack here. Very easy now for me to stamp without this little strip moving. Super, super handy. So there's another thing. When you use a lot of die cuts on a project, it, and especially when they're little like this, they're hard to keep track of or they slide around. If you're trying to make your arrangement, it's like, ooh, stay there, why want you? So if I have my card stuck on here, and then if I'm gonna work on the bottom, maybe I'll put my ruler there, put a magnet there, and it doesn't even have to be straight, really. All I want to do is figure out my arrangement. So I know I want a flower pot here. I might wanna tuck my little leaves under here. And you can see now my base is not moving, my flower pot's not moving, and it just makes it so much easier to um, figure out the position for all your elements. It's really a super handy tool. You'll love it. So here's another handy use for the uh, Make Art Station. The magnets are really, really strong and really handy. So if I want to glue something, I'll use my Perfect Card Adhesive, put that on here, put my um, little layer here wherever I want it and sometimes you'll have a corner that pops up or something that's annoying I'll just put the magnets on and walk away and it's like having an extra pair of hands and I can start working on something else so um, another thing I want to tell you too we have some accessories coming which 
cannot say a word, but I will say because we've had a million requests for extra magnets. Um, and at first Ranger said, how many do you want? And I said, four will be perfectly fine. But now that I have it, I can actually work on a card here. And while that's drying, or if I you know, need to think about what else do I want to add to that card, I can work on my second card over here, but now I need four magnets, so those will be coming. Don't tell anybody what happens at scrapbook.com stays here. Okay, here's another way to use the uh, Make Art Station. If you do embossing, which I know that's still very, very popular, the Make Art Station is a portable embossing station. So what I like to do is I work on the back, and I like to put the, um, we have a small craft sheet, nine inch craft sheet, and I kind of put it off to one side, put my magnets on here, and that gives you a portable embossing station, which is really, really handy. Keep in mind that this is metal, right? So I kind of keep it over here, give myself a place to hold it, and make sure you're extra careful with the heat gun. Okay, next thing that um, I want to talk about is cleanup. And I had a lot of questions on how to clean paint from the Make Art Station. So the Make Art Station does not replace the craft sheet. If I'm gonna do um, any messy techniques, if I'm gonna do anything with paint, it's always gonna be on the craft sheet. It's not gonna be on the Make Art Station. Um, cleanup, probably the thing that I get on here most is my blendable inks because I use them with stencils. And these clean up with water like we learned in the first lesson. So keep that in mind. You'll love it. It's stinking cute. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happiness is life handmade.